Hi, Lowe's Vogel Sharp. Um, today's October 4th, 2018, and 26 years ago today, um, I witnessed a most amazing miracle. Um, most people go their whole lives and never get to see something like this, and it was, my son was born, but he was born dead, and God had prophesied it to me seven years earlier that I was going to have an, another son, told me the name, uh, his name is Jonathan, he told me his name and everything, and um, he was born and he was born dead. So when the doctor announced it that he was dead, the spirit welled up inside of me and I turned and I said, my baby's not going to die in the name of Jesus. And when I said Jesus, he took a breath and he's going to be, tw he's 26 years old today. That's an outright miracle. You can't tell me that God doesn't do miracles and that he doesn't love us, and when he prophesies something that's going to come to pass, the devil might step in and try to stop it or prevent it, but God will make a way for it to surely happen. So we have to realize that when God prophesies something or says something, that is always a battle. The enemy will try to stop things from happening, but you have, we have to stand our ground as the church of Jesus, the body of Jesus Christ, and fight the good fight of faith. Use the name of Jesus against the evil one so that he stops. We're here to fight in a battle. We're not here to just let things just get dumped on us. Right now, our country is fighting for our religious freedom and our rights. All right? We have a president in that God put in there. I don't care what's being said out on the internet. God let this man in. This man has done nothing but stand up for Christians. He's not the Trojan horse being sent in to destroy America, okay? Look at the fruits of what the man is doing. I'm not saying he's the perfect man. I know he has issues. He's he has, you know, things that he's not done that he's done in his life that haven't been so nice. But the fact of the matter is God is cleaning him up. We can all look at our background and then come up with many things that we've done that we're not proud of. So we need to stop that and just recognize what God is doing with America. All right. We have a judge right now that is basically the devil's trying to destroy because he has an impeccable background. So all kinds of evil people are coming out, making up all kinds of lies and stories. All right. The credibility of these witnesses, it's going down the tubes very quickly because they're finding out that they're liars and they've done these things that are outright lies. So this is what the enemy does to us. And we have to know who we are in Jesus so that we can stand firm and fast. All right. The reason you haven't heard from me in a few days is because we're busy doing the studio. A brother came up to help us. We now we're just about done. Everything's done. We have to put the rug down and um, then we're having problems put the door, putting the door on. So we're having a little bit of a hassle with that. But um, might even be doing my next video in the studio. It depends on how fast God gives me another word. But this is a prophetic word, and it's a word of encouragement for his people. So let me just read what he says. My people, I know you are fearful. The Lord has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So do not let the foe, my foe, put this emotion on you. You must fight the good fight of faith. And use all the weapons of your warfare. Fear, fear is a powerful emotion that my foe uses. And it came out at my son too. With these feelings. Love is the emotion that I feel towards you. And you can embrace it by believing you are accepted. Because of the sacrifice of my son Yeshua. That he made. There is no need to feel fear. Even though the mountains be removed and the earth shakes. You can know that I love you. You must join with me in my having to destroy evil and use the name above all names and come against the evil that is trying so hard to consume my earth. Evil wants to convince you that all is well as it is and that I accept all manner of behavior even though my heart cannot tolerate abominations. There are sins, my children, that are such abominations in my sight that I must stop them and bring back my way of life to the earth once again. The earth has strayed so far from me they cannot even see what is wrong with murder and lies and deception. They justify it as necessary to serve a greater purpose for what they feel is right. They are so very deceived, and unless they are stopped, this will be 
there will be no one left who will even know who I am if this cancer continues to grow. I am using all manner of weather and rain and earthquakes and yes, even volcanoes to shake the earth and wake up my people. If you remain asleep, the evil one will convince you that anything is accepted by me instead of what is truth and what is sin. Time to pray and fast and rebuke all evil and be not afraid when I pour down my wrath to destroy it. You are mine and nothing can pluck you out of my hands. I love you and rebuke fear, my love, for it is a torment that will grip you and keep you from doing anything. Perfect love casts out all fear, and may you believe and receive my love for you. Though through the sacrifice of Yeshua, the one you call Jesus, the one who is your Messiah, my one and only son who chose to come give up his life so you could be set free. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed, my children. Love your Father who art in heaven. That's what I got. And um, I'm putting it out on this day of, of days when I witnessed this outright miracle 26 years ago. It was a battle. It was a total battle that I was in birthing my son. Because all hell basically broke loose against this child being born. Because... Um, he has um, a gift from God to be used by God, and God will use it. So the enemy tries to stop these things. He doesn't want people coming into the world that he knows are anointed by God. So we must pray diligently for this country to come back. And um, Jesus did not come into the world to condemn the world. He came into the world to save us, to save us from destruction and from our sins. God is not up there with a big bat saying, I want to destroy you, America. America was founded under God. God is not giving up on America. Don't let the gloomer doomers tell you that America is going down and going under. And that Trump has come in there to destroy us. No, no. The other guy was in there to destroy us and he was destroying us. He created total confusion. He pinned people against each other. We are one in the spirit, and we must love one another. I don't care if we disagree. We are called to love one another and be one body and one mind and one accord. And that's my purpose, is to get us to get that and understand that. Trust the Father today, because things are going to shake and things are going to quake. And the lava is going to spew out. And tsunamis are going to happen. But it doesn't change the fact that he loves his people. And he's coming against evil. He has to stop evil. We're in a war. The war is not over yet. Not till the devil's bound up forever. Will, it, will, he, will he be stopped? So we have to keep our focus and our faith. Love one another. And um, keep on going. So don't let the devil put fear on you. I rebuke fear in the name of Jesus. All the fear that's coming against God's people, I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. And I command it to let go of God's people. Let my people go, says the Lord. Let my people go, says the Lord. Let my people go, says the Lord. Perfect love casts out all fear. Allow him to love you today. Stop condemning yourself. Stop letting the devil condemn you. I don't care what you've done. You're washed in the blood of Jesus. And you can walk free from your sins. You have to allow the Holy Spirit. The more you condemn yourself, the more hopeless you feel, the more the devil will, will bind you up in that sin that you want to get out of. Let the Father love you and let the Holy Spirit give you the power and the fire to come against the evil one. And all the demonic forces that try to stop us. Death was very real when my son was born. But it didn't penetrate me. It didn't compute in my spirit. Because God prophesied I was going to have a son. He gave me his personality. So when they said this baby's dead, it didn't compute in my, my whole being. And matter of fact, it got rejected and rebuked. 
because the spirit welled up in me and the spirit welled up in me because I was open to it. I didn't accept the lie. Don't accept the lies from the devil. Don't accept the lie that America's going down the tubes. We have to get out and vote and make sure we keep the right side in that's allowing our religious freedom and is not walking with reprobate minds. You can't justify murder unless you're in a battle that God sends you in to win a war, an actual war. You can't murder innocent babies in the womb and justify it and say that if we don't allow that, that's an unchristian thing. No, the Christian thing is to save a life. The Christian th thing is to stand up for those that don't have a say. To stand up when somebody's being bullied by somebody bigger than them. And you step into the picture and you stop it from happening. That's the Christian thing to do. The Christian thing to do was when Jesus came into the world so that we could be set free from the evil one. That was the Christian thing to do. He was the Christian. He was Christ. Christians got the name, okay? Back in the day, after they accepted Jesus as the Lord, they... The name Christians came about. It's in the Bible. So, Christian means little Christs. We're supposed to be little Christs out there. Doing um, the work that he's called us to do, which is rebuking the evil one every chance we get. Destroying the works of the devil. That's what we're meant to do. Are we doing it? Or are we battling with fear? Are we wrapped up in fear, afraid of what's going to happen? Don't be afraid of anything, because even in death we have victory. <laughs> we can't lose. We win this battle. Just don't give up on Jesus. Follow him and let him love you today. I pray, Father, that your love penetrates your people in a way like never before. We're in times that are never going to be again, Father. So I'm asking for supernatural healings to take place for your people that they can receive your love today and be filled father with the knowing that you love them without a shadow of a doubt i pray that in jesus name and i'm lois vogel sharp and i'll be back when it says me back again and i want to thank all the people for um sending me things and writing to me and i i can't i can't write to all you people and i can't respond to all you people but do know that I hear what you say, you're in my prayers, and I do love each and every one of you. I want you to know that, okay? Um, my purpose is to pray and get the videos out. I can't, um, I can't have one-on-one -on -one with a lot of you that would like that. But God sees your hearts, and um, I can reach you through the videos. Because there is a connection here. God puts a spiritual connection when I get out there and I say these things from the Father. So have a blessed day, and I'll be back when he sends me back again.